Milestone and Spectra provide a cost-effective and scalable end-to-end -end solution, managing and storing video surveillance and security data to meet any retention needs. In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up and configure Verde as an archive in Milestone XProtect Corporate and Enterprise. We'll also demonstrate how easy it is to play back and view the archive video directly from Verde. To begin, determine whether or not it's necessary to balance the system in order to add an archive. Once your system is balanced and you're not doing Active Directory, you need to allow Milestone access to the Verde shares. Go into Windows Services, scroll down to find Milestone XProtect Recording Server, right click, select Properties, and click the Log On tab. Then, type in the username who has permissions to write to the Verde shares. Add in the appropriate passwords and click OK. Keep in mind, this takes effect at the start of the next recording server service. Again, this only applies if you're not Active Directory. Once you have credentials, you can now add archive storage and schedule the archives. Go to the storage pane on the right within the Milestone XProtect management client. For this demonstration, we have two storage locations configured for this Milestone recording server. First is a live recording which is configured to archive recordings older than two hours during the next scheduled archive. Archive 2 is configured to move the recordings into the archive until they are seven days old at which point they will be moved to our new archive to make more space on the existing archive. Now, we will add an additional 30-day archive to the current system. Within the recording server, click the Add Archive button in the Properties pane. Set a name for your archive, which is used by Milestone for identification. Then, in the Data field, set the share for Verde, which is the data path and SIFS share on Verde. In our example, we set our retention to 30 days, though you can select any number here. And since the video has a high resolution, high frame rates, and we're keeping the video for a long period of time, we'll set the maximum size to 100,000 gigabytes or 100 terabytes. Click OK. You should now see your new archive within the properties pane. You can also schedule how often the individual archive runs based on load balancing by clicking on the archive and clicking on the button next to schedule. Here, you can specify how often and when it runs. The Verde and Milestone XProtect solution is very easy to expand. You can add additional storage by expanding the existing pool on Verde. Double click on the archive in Milestone and increase the retention as needed. You can also increase the storage to meet any additional storage requirements. After your system has been running, your archive data is now accessible on Verde through the same XProtect interface. To view both your live recording database and your Verde archive database, go to the Milestone XProtect Smart Client and navigate to the Playback tab. The thin black bar within the recording is a delineation in the system between the live and archive recording databases. When the blue bar is on the right of the black bar, you are looking at the live recording database. When the blue bar is on the left side of the black bar, you are viewing recorded content in the archive database. As demonstrated here, there is no delay or extra steps needed to view and play back your recordings in the archive database directly from Verde. This concludes our demonstration. For more details, please follow the link to the best practices for setting up a Verde NAS solution as an archive for Milestone XProtect recordings, listed within the description of this video.